Today, I'm doing a mani swap with my friend Angie's Crafting Universe. Let's try recreating five of her designs. Hey guys, it's Claris. Welcome back to my channel. Let me show you the five designs I picked out to recreate. I'll have Angie's YouTube channel linked below, so go subscribe to her channel. She does some very creative nail art, which you will see. First, I'm going to remove my nail polish, and I have already on some of the nails. But this is the Elmer's glue base coat, just to let you know. It's not even a base coat, it's a glue, but it works pretty well, as you can see. To clean off any polish that's left behind, usually on the edges or under the nail, I just like to use a Q-tip. I first learned about using Elmer's glue as a peel-off base coat in my testing hacks video that's in the upper right corner of your screen. But on the ring finger, I'm going to do a design that needs a nail vinyl, so we need to use a regular base coat because if I were to use my glue base coat, it would peel up. So this is the first design. I really like the white and gold color combo, and I want to recreate the ring finger chevron one. So I'm just using my white polish to make that chevron V shape. Okay, so I have this gold colored striping tape and I'm just cutting myself a few pieces and arranging them to outline that negative space there, snipping off the excess. How did I do? I think mine turned out really cute, but it's not exactly like hers. But I'm really pleased how this one turned out. The striping tape is so shiny. So this is the next one, another chevron style mani. I really like the accent nail, that's just gorgeous, but I'm going to try one of the other nails this time. I don't think I can freehand those chevron lines, so instead I'm going to use some tape. So I've stuck this to the back of my hand a few times, so it lost a bunch of its stickiness. So hopefully this won't peel up my peel off face coat. But now I'm going to cut several little pieces of tape. Okay, so I've arranged the tape like this. Now I'm just going to fill in that little bit near the cuticle. Wow, that turned out perfectly. All right, I forgot I wasn't supposed to peel up those pieces yet, but I put some new pieces in to replace it. Okay, let's peel these up. Well, using what I've already done as a guideline, I can make those stripes a little bit thicker. Alrighty, how did I do? I could see how this design would look better on a nail that doesn't have as much free edge because then there isn't that weird white part there and you'd be wondering what is that, you know? I think it looks better on her nails actually. But it's very creative. Hey guys, I have a question for you. Do you like long or short nails? Comment your preference below. Next up we have some cute little watermelons. Let's do it! I'm going to begin by painting the nail red. Then with my dark green, I'm going along making the green rind. And with a small brush dipped in white polish, I'm making that little line. I'm making the seeds with a toothpick dipped in black paint. Not bad. A lighter shade of red won't hurt, but I think it's fine. And kind of reminds me of a strawberry. Now this green shot is from Angie's Four Seasons video when she did a nail for each season. Very good idea. And the one I want to recreate is the blue and orange mermaid design. So I'm going to paint this whole nail and since we're going to use nail vinyls in the next step, I'm going to apply my Sesh Beat top coat. And this orange has only been drying for like a few minutes, but I know this top coat is designed that it's alright if you apply it over polish that has not completely dried. I got these mermaid vinyls and I'm sticking them to the back of the sheet to help pull out any remaining pieces out of the sticker. So I'm pressing it on and I decided to go in with my blue hollow and then I thought I should make it darker so I added some of my dark blue creme polish and then I was happy so I peeled it up. And I think it turned out very well and matches Andy's version quite closely. Orange isn't really my go-to color, but I like how summery it is here and it really helps make those mermaid scales pop. Now for this design, I hopped over to Andy's Pinterest page. I don't use Pinterest much, do you? Anyways, I quickly noticed that she mentions that the colors were inspired by the polish tree, so I'm definitely going to try this one. So I'm going to use my silver hollow. And of my two purple creme polishes, I think the darker one would be a better fit. So I'm swiping this on both sides and then using brush and make little scallop shapes. Well, I tried. <laughs> I think this is a pretty cute design. And hey, it didn't need any tools, so it's very simple and pretty easy. Well, this was so much fun, but how many of you struggle with weak and splitting and overall not very strong nails? See that on this nail? Oh, it's kind of tearing. It's, it's really sad, but... Well, I have a couple nails that are tearing. 
So hit the notification bell because in my next video, I'm going to follow along one of Rose Pearl's DIY nail strengthener tutorials. I'm going to mix together the concoction and see if it helps my nails. And maybe that could help you all to see if it would help you as well. Also, if you want some more nail art inspiration, I have a huge playlist of nail art tutorials in the description, so feel free to go and check that out. Follow me on Instagram at the Polish Queen 15 for almost daily posts featuring nail art I do in between videos and swatches. If you like this video, please let me know by liking it below. Subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't already. Share this video with your fellow nail artists and comment below which of these designs is your favorite. I really like the white and gold chevron. I look forward to seeing your comments and giving responses as well. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and have a magical day.